everyone, my name is Shamira Andres and I'm a PhD student in the Earth and Space Science and Engineering Department at York University and also at the Laboratory of Planetology and Geosciences in the University of Nantes in France. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. Initially, what got me into space was really studying Earth. And so I really didn't realize until it was brought to my attention that Earth obviously is a planet. And so to be an expert in another planet, you have to be an expert on our planet first, is kind of how I viewed it. So that's why I started studying Earth and environmental science and then moved on to geophysics and then later on to planetary geophysics and applying methods to both planets. But I really admire the interdisciplinariness of space. So when I was choosing what to study for my bachelor's and undergrad, I didn't really know what to specialize in. It was engineering or medicine or biology or physics. But because space is so interdisciplinary, it kind of drew me to that. Like it's the power of different fields and different nations working together to achieve like one common goal. It's also a way of giving back to our planet. So not a lot of people know this, but there's many different inventions that were invented for space first before it was applied to Earth. For example, there's the camera on your phone. Like if you have an iPhone or any smartphone, that was actually invented for space applications before it was invented for your phone. And so Apple and Samsung and all these brands just adapted like the smaller version of the camera and the minimized version because it was invented for astronauts first. An example also are Nike Air. So if you have shoes that are Nike Air or just the ones with a cushion, it's also invented for space, for astronauts' spacewalks to be specific on the moon before it was invented and applied to shoes on Earth. So just those little things that we don't see in our everyday lives. Like if you play sports, you play tennis or hockey, that material of the nanoplastics that I was talking about is a technology that was invented for space first before we took it here on Earth and it makes all of our lives better. It makes all of our sports and our activities more efficient. And so that's also what kind of keeps me going um, is that I can see space being applied to Earth. There's many things that are in your everyday life that are very relevant and that was made and invented for space and now it's being applied to the benefit of humanity. So my research background is I study and research buried ice and glaciers, specifically on Mars and in the Canadian Arctic here on Earth. Um, I use radar remote sensing as well as fieldwork techniques in geophysics and geomorphology, specifically in glacial and periglacial or permafrost environments. Eventually, I would love to apply this to other planets as well, other than just Earth and Mars. So I focus on a region on Mars called Flegramontes, and it's one of the proposed candidate human landing sites on Mars because it houses a lot of ice um, in the subsurface. So part of my project is how to tap into that ice, how much ice is there, where is the ice on Mars so that we can use it as a resource when we eventually explore Mars and send humans there. And so we can sustain life. So the advice that I would give students considering graduate studies is to always ask questions and never hesitate to ask for help. So as a PhD student, I can definitely say that I will not be here without the help and the support of my mentors and my colleagues and other students in my lab um, that have helped me got to where I am now. And so I always asked questions, even if I didn't know if it had an answer, even if I thought it was not a good question, because the worst that you can get is a no or a yes. At least you will know the answer at the end, but also asking for help. It really humbles you as a researcher and it symbolizes that you're also not alone and that you're able to, asking for help I think is a strength <laughs> that you can actually apply to many, many things, especially in research, because you don't ever do anything alone. So I hope you learned a lot and for more information about grad studies in Lausanne, you can visit our website.